Arlington ISD's Board of Trustees meeting on October 5th, 2023 is in the books, and I want to brief you on a few of the highlights. There's no better way to start a board meeting than with some smooth jazz. The award-winning jazz ensemble for Martin High School, Martin Jazz, directed by Kenny Raglan, made our boardroom feel like a jazz club tonight. They played a samba in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month. Thank you to those musicians. Then we got to honor our student of the month, Montazar Mohammed, a senior at Arlington College and Career High School. Montazar is extremely accomplished. He's already earned 59 college credit hours, all while maintaining a perfect 4.0 GPA. And this December, he'll earn his college associate degree five months before he graduates from high school in May. Then, next year, he'll be the first person in his family to go to college. Congrats, Montessar. From the student of the month, we moved to our community partner of the month. We presented the Community Powered by Possibilities Award of Appreciation to the Kroger Company. Kroger has offered tremendous support for Arlington ISD students through their Backpack Booster campaign and providing employment opportunities for students in the 18 plus program. Thank you, Kroger. Then it was down to business. Among other financial items, we approved the annual internal audit plan for fiscal year 2024. This is in keeping with board policies that require the district's chief internal auditor to work with the audit committee to develop the annual audit plan and provide a summary of the work schedule, staffing plan, and budget. Later, we received two presentations from district administrators. The first was from Dr. Natalie Lopez, Arlington ISD's Assistant Superintendent for Research and Accountability. She gave us an overview of the results from the 2022-23 District Employee Survey. This annual district-wide survey aims to collect actionable insights from staff, particularly teachers, to help with retention. Feedback on retention issues and campus climate was collected between October and May from focus groups, one-on-one -on -one interviews, and surveys. The other presentation was an update on pre-K programming from Dr. Christy Buell, Arlington ISD's Interim Chief Academic Officer. We've made pre-K a huge priority in our district and launched free universal pre-K with a STEM curriculum last school year. Not only have we seen pre-K enrollment increase as a result, but we're also significantly increasing kindergarten readiness and improving student outcomes. Those are just a few of the highlights from tonight. If you would like more details on any of these or any of the items I didn't cover, please click the link on the screen to watch the entire meeting. Thank you.